Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. I hope you guys have had a great week. It has been a very busy week here, I can tell you that. I am excited today. I've got all new products to show you. I am so excited. It, it is fun getting new, pro new products. I know, you guys understand that. All right, I see you guys jumping on. Good, let's see. Let me grab my iPad and share over to my page. All right, share, yes, over there, post. All right, hello, 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 everybody. Good to see you. All right, let's make sure I have this on the right thing. Okay, so the new catalog has gone live. Hopefully you guys have a copy. Um, if you don't have a copy, you can actually see the catalog PDF if you scroll all the way back down to the bottom of the Stampin' Up! page. There um, is a link down way hidden at the bottom that says catalogs, and you can see the PDF there. If you need one, please reach out. I'd be happy to send you one. It's a good one. There's some fun things in here, and I will tell you, I'm going to show you a couple of things that actually um, surprised me. There are things, you know, you see things like paper in uh, a catalog, <laughs> and it doesn't look the same when it comes in person. Um, I can definitely attest to that. There's paper in here that I didn't expect to be so gorgeous. Um, so I'm gonna show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the camera, but it is amazing. Okay, so today we are going to um, focus on the new in colors. Here are all the new in colors. We are gonna, you know, so I ordered a bunch of stuff on Tuesday. It got here on Wednesday. And then I was like, you know, like, where do I even start? I kind of have things mapped out for the summer, like what I want to do each week. Um, and so it was just very hard to start. Like, what do I want to do first? So I decided instead of just narrowing it down to one stamp set, I would use a variety of stamp sets today, new sets. And um, we'll just look at the new in colors. That'll be our focus, okay? That's our theme today. Hey, Antoinette. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to use actually three different stamp sets today. Um, and, um, let's see what else, new paper, new ink, all kinds of new stuff. Okay. I am going to flip you guys around right away because there is so much I want to show you. And I feel like it's going to be better when I flip you around. Let's see. I've made myself already into this tiny little square. Okay. Hold on, close your eyes, don't look. And then I'll tell you when you can open your eyes. So there's a couple of specials happening that I want to tell you about. Um, let's see if I can get that. I need to turn the fan down too. Let me do that. The Paper Pumpkin subscription is on sale right now. Um, if you have never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin, right now from the 7th until the 10th, you can subscribe for five bucks. Um, you'll get a whole kit for five dollars. It includes the stamp set, the ink, and everything you need to make those projects. Um, the May kit is a baseball themed kit. It's really, really cute. I haven't seen the whole thing, but I've seen some sneak peeks and I'm very excited about it. But if you are a new subscriber, that means that your email address has never subscribed to Paper Pumpkin before, you are a new subscriber. Um, and you can subscribe for five bucks. Now, this is not a commitment. You can cancel anytime uh, with Paper Pumpkin. So you could try it out for five bucks, see if you like it. Um, and if you like it, you can uh, keep it. And it's fun getting a, a nice little surprise every month. But the $5 kits, they only have a limited number of $5 kits. And they said if they sell out of those, then the sale will end. So if you would like to try out the kit for five bucks, make sure you do that. Um, Pepper, are you all right? Pepper's doing a really weird thing. I think she's got like allergies or something. I don't know, it's worrying me. I don't know if you guys can hear her. She's in here asleep and she's like breathing weird. Anyway, sorry, hopefully that <laughs> happened the whole time. Um, there's a promo code that you have to use and you know what, did I type, I may have said host code. It's a promo code, like a coupon code to get that $5 kit. You've got to type in, um, in the coupon code section, home run 0521, okay? All right, so there is that. The deadline for that, it says is the 10th, unless they sell out ahead of time. Now, the other thing is our starter kit special. Um, the starter kit is usually $99, and 
you can pick out, I'm looking for my catalog, where did I put it? In that starter kit, you can pick out $125 of product of your choice. Um, anything you want. You could get all inks, you could get all stamp sets, you could get a mix, whatever you want to do. Um, and it is $99 free shipping. Well, this month, it's not $125 in product. You get $155 in product for just $99. That's an incredible savings. So this is a really good deal. They do this deal every now and then. So if you've got a pretty long wish list from the annual catalog, think about buying the starter kit. Um, uh, once you buy the starter kit, then you get the 20% discount for, um, I'm looking, I don't even know where that is in this, where the little, here it is, join Stampin' Up, page 169. Um, after you get the starter kit, then you get 20% off all your orders, at least until the end of, let's see, what's today? Um, oh, I can't think, May, June, July, August, September, October. I think it's till the end of September, am I right, guys? I don't know, but you get a 20% discount for as long as you maintain your demonstratorship. Um, and then you can buy whatever you want with your 20% discount. And the other fun thing about that is that the summer when the holiday catalog comes out, you'll get to access it early and order from it early. Plus you get your discount on that. So I think that's probably my favorite perk of being a demonstrator, buying that starter kit is that then you get early access, um, to those catalogs. Now, you, I know sometimes people say, I don't want to sell. I don't want to make Facebook lives. I don't want to blog. That is totally fine. You don't have to do that. When you buy the starter kit, you can be your one and only customer. I will tell you guys, I, I did that with Mary Kay because I use their, um, face cleanser and my girls use it. So I realized that if I would just join, then I could get the discount on all of that for all of us. Cause there's four of us but I don't sell it to anybody. So this is the same deal. You can join Stampin' Up and just be your, your own demonstrator, your own, your one and only customer. Or if you want to start trying to make some money, you can do that too. And I have lots of training that I offer my teams and support to help you do that. Either way, you all are all welcome to buy the starter kit for me and join my team. The benefits of being on my team are you get my PDFs, all of them for free. You get my class um, kits at a discount. We have monthly meetings. We have bi-monthly training or business builders calls, what we call them. We have swaps. We have prizes. We have all kinds of fun stuff. So if you are interested in that, the the $155 value goes through May 31st. There is a tab at the top of my blog that says join. You can click on that and read through all the details. Okay. All right. Now, and you guys, if you have questions about that, please don't hesitate to email me. The next thing I print all these out. There's so many fun things happening. The next thing is they're calling it the connect craft and collect. Um, basically, let me, let me flip over to the host rewards. Well, they're not called host rewards anymore. They used to be called host rewards. Now they're called Stampin' Rewards. I still call them host rewards. Um, this chart right here, we talk about this all the time when you guys put in your Facebook Friday orders. If your order is over $150, you don't want to use the host code because then you start getting Stampin' Rewards. Basically, that's like host rewards. Remember when, when you would host a workshop or host a party, you earn free stuff? Well, that's basically what that is. And even if you're not actually hosting a class or a workshop. If your order is over $150, you start earning those, those Stampin' Rewards. Um, now this month, and I'm going to show you while we're here, I'm going to use today this paper right here. And I'm telling you, this is the best paper in the catalog. It's called Pattern Party. It is a huge stack, 48 sheets. They're 12 by 12 and they are awesome patterns. But the only way to get that is to spend these Stampin' Rewards for that paper. Um, so if you are thinking you don't want to spend that much, get your friends together. You guys put in one big order together and then you split that paper pack um, that you would get for free. So just a little thought there. But this right here, you're going to, if your order gets up to $250, then you're going to get an extra $25. And as you move up, um, when you get to $300, you get 12% plus $25 and so on. So if you've been contemplating putting in a big order, this would be the time to do that, to take advantage of that. 
or get your friends together. If you have two or three friends, you all put your orders together and take advantage of that. Um, it goes through June 14th. So we actually have, I don't know what, maybe five weeks to take advantage of that. So that is an awesome deal. Very awesome, awesome deal for sure. So many things happening. I'm like, I, I didn't know if I would be able to remember to tell you guys all these things. Okay, now let's see. I'm gonna move this out of the way for right now. I'm gonna jump through a few things. Pansy Patch, today is the last day to subscribe to the um, May Club Create. Um, I am bound and determined to get these out before I leave next Saturday for Maui. That'll be almost a week early. So, I won't take any late signups at all this month. Um, in fact, I'm already in the process of getting those kits ready. So today, by midnight, is the very last day to sign up for this month's Pansy Patch Club Create. Club Create is $39 a month. You get about $20 in new product, five make and takes, a video, and a PDF. And this month, we're doing Pansy Patch, four cards, and a little basket, which has been severely beat up. Um, and then you can add on the Pansy Patch bundle as well. Um, and I will pay the tax and shipping if you do that. So that's that ends today, okay? That's the last time I'm gonna show it to you. Now, usually by this time, I already have the next month's Club Create designed, typed, ready. But I don't have that because <laughs> the catalog just went live Tuesday. So, but I know what we're gonna do. If you wanna join Club Create in um, for June, we're going to be doing the Plentiful Plants Bundle. This is so fun, so cute. How many of you guys bought this already or have it on your wish list? It, I think it's going to be very popular. And I want to show you the paper. It's very cute. It's got all these little plants. And then the back side has some great, really kind of light, neutral patterns. So Club Create for June will feature this. You'll get probably half half a pack of designer series paper, you'll get some ribbon, some embellishments, and then there will be five projects. I am hoping that I will have this designed before I go out of town next week. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Um, but this is Club Create, it's a subscription. Um, you join, you subscribe, and it's $39 a month, and then cancel anytime. If you just wanted to join for one month, you can totally do that. But if you stay for six months, you get $25 in product credit on your sixth month, like a, like a host rewards. All right. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? So there's the paper. I love this set. You guys like this too? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, this was one that I jumped on immediately. Very first thing I wanted. Okay. So that's going to be club create for June. Let me move that and then my class to go for June, which again, I haven't designed, but it's going to be the adorable sweet as a peach. I have a feeling this is gonna be the most popular thing in the catalog. Um, now, barring any <laughs> sellouts or unorderables, this will be my class to go next month. Look at that paper. How gorgeous is that? Um, so be on the lookout. I won't have this ready until I get back the last week of May. Um, but if you like, uh, sweet as a peach, just be on the lookout. I will let you know, look at those stripes. Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love it. And I don't even like peaches. <laughs> Yuck. I do not like peaches, but I love this sweet so much. The colors and the patterns on the back. They're so great. Okay, so that's that class coming. I have no idea what it's going to have in it. I got to start playing around, but it's very, very cute. Oh, here's the die. Here are the dies. And then it also has these mini jam jars. I posted something today that our CEO, Sarah Douglas, did with these. Um, and they are so cute. My problem for our class is I don't know how that would mail in a padded envelope. What do you guys think? <laughs> when it get crushed, it's not glass. It's plastic. And I would love to include one of these in our class, but I don't know. I I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't think it'll survive a padded envelope. Hmm, but it's so cute. So there's that. I don't know. Six come in a box. It's plastic. I thought for some reason in my mind I was thinking it was going to be glass. That does stupid. I don't know why I thought that. But the plastic is so, 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 so cute. Okay. And um, that's that. That's all that sweet. So be looking on for that. Tell me what you guys think about putting those jars in a padded envelope. <laughs> am I, am I just an idiot to even think about that? Probably. 
Okay, now this paper, I have to show you this paper. This is what's on the cover of the catalog. Expressions in ink, is that what it's called? I don't know the names yet. Expressions in ink, let me see, let me make sure. Do, 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 where is it? When I saw this, I was like, eh, it's okay. You know, like the colors are pretty, meh, whatever. Expressions in ink. But when I opened it, you guys, oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. This reminds me of what we did last week with our alcohol markers. That's what this reminds me of. I don't know if that's how they made this paper. I don't know, but it is gorgeous. Look at this. I, I don't think that you can even see how gorgeous this is without seeing it in person. Green is not one of my favorite colors. I usually am not a big fan of gold, but this is beautiful. This is so, so beautiful. If you got my newsletter this morning, my email, I have a card in there where I, that I made with this. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Look at the pink and gold. I, I'm telling you, this paper is just so exquisite really pretty. I hope that they will tell us how they made this paper. You know, um, sometimes they'll show us how the artist made the paper. This one is just so amazing. Amazing, amazing. And look, a gold stripe. Wouldn't that be great for like wedding cards? And then look at that. Oh, I want to make this paper. It's so pretty. So anyway, I just had a, that has nothing to do with what we're doing today, but I just could not wait to show you guys is how beautiful this paper is. It's called Expressions in Ink. It's a little more expensive than our other paper because it has all that gold in it. Um, the other paper that I was pleasantly surprised with, let me grab it, oh, I'm dropping things, is this paper. It's called Sweet Symmetry. And it's so cute. Um, let's see if I can flip these pages. So looks like a busy, cute little, I don't know what you would call that, just really cute print. And then on the back, kind of a monochromatic print. But look at this, this pattern right here with this pattern looks so good. I've made a card with these, you guys will see it soon. Look how cute that is. I don't know if it translates on the screen, but it's just really, I did not expect to love this paper as much as I love it. I am gonna use the heck out of this paper. I like this this pattern too with the yellows, look. Ah, so cute. So anyways, that's that. I just had to show you guys because you know, if I was to tell my, my kids or my husband, look at this paper, they'd be like, we don't care. <laughs> you guys would understand, right? Okay, now let me tell you a few more things. Oh, speaking of the paper, and the ribbon. My paper and ribbon share is still open. Where did I put my PDF? Here it is. Um, you can sign up through Wednesday, next Wednesday. I'm going to order it all right before I leave for Maui, and then it'll be here when I get back, and um, Denise and I will cut it, pack it, get it ready for you, and hopefully have it out the first um, or early the second week of June. Um, it includes all the new ribbons, one yard. It includes um, all the new paper, either a half sheet or a quarter sheet, whichever you choose. Um, the link is right here, or you can email me. Um, and if you go to the bottom of today's blog post, there's a link to the blog post that gives you all the details and the prices. Um, I can't list the link on my blog. You have to email me and say, send me the link or be on my email list. It was, the link was in the email I sent out this morning. Okay. Okay, so that's that. I didn't want to forget to tell you that'll be the last time I talk about that. Um, the new All Star Tutorial Bundle is out. This month is the Ice Cream Corner. And I'm not kidding when I say, when I printed this out, I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It was so amazing. These are done by 12 different designers, Stampin' Up! Des uh, demonstrators. And some are in the United States, some are in the UK, some are in South Pacific. Some are in Canada. Um, we're all over the world and we come together every month and we pick a suite of products and we all design projects with these. Um, and then we put them all together in a PDF. Look at that, how cute. Um, that's not mine, but that is so stinking cute. Um, we also film a video so you can scan the QR code and it'll take you to the video. Um, the way to get this PDF is to 
either spend $50 with me online and then I email it to you for free. I email those out about once a week. I just emailed them out last night for this last week. Um, it's also available in my PDF store for $15. Um, or like I said at the beginning, if you're part of my team, you get all the PDFs for free, including these all-star tutorial bundles. All right. So if you have the ice, ice cream corner, you know, the sweet ice cream stamp set, um, you might want this because it's full of projects. And then we did a blog hop on, I guess it was yesterday that has even more ideas for you. So make sure you check it out. It's a really good one. They're always good, but this one, for some reason in particular, here's my project in particular, um, is just exceptional this time. I don't know. It's just really, really good. Okay. You know what? I have a question for you guys. I have this sitting here because I want to ask you what you think about this stamp set. Wildcats, without looking at the designer series paper in the catalog, what do you think about this stamp set? I will tell you that I at first was like, mm, I'm not sure. But I bought it because I feel like when I see something like that, I take it as a challenge. And I made a card with it yesterday and I actually really liked it. I didn't use the paper that goes with it. What do you guys think? Are there, I, I have a feeling that people are going to either hate it or absolutely love it. I have a feeling there's not going to be people in, in between. So I want to know what you guys think about this because I can't decide to use it or not with a class or whatever. So I see love the Wildcats and I see not my favorite. And, and Nancy and Brandy, I have a feeling that's exactly what it's going to be. Um, you know, like either or. I will tell you, I don't think she's on here, but Anne Marie, I texted her this card and she was like, um, it's not your card. I just am not a fan of that stamp. <laughs> I was like, I get it. I don't know. I just felt like it was a challenge and I needed to play with it. Um, it really is kind of fun to figure out the stamping on the on the cats. Um, but anyway, I would love to know what you guys think. Not, I'm seeing meh, 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 kind of. This paper right here, is not the paper they show in the catalog with it. This is that paper pack we're gonna to use today, that um, Stamp and Rewards pack of paper called Pattern Party. And I love that print, that's really cute. So anyways, good, I'm glad you guys are telling me. Some of you are like, mm, no thank you. Kate's like, yes please, I love it. See, isn't that funny? You know, there can be something that I absolutely detest, but then it's somebody else's absolute favorite. Our brains work that differently that way. <laughs> Just so funny. Okay, so anyway, let's move on. Prizes. Oh, I did not pull out prizes for today. Darn it. All right, here are our winners. Tammy Sands. Sands. Tammy actually had four, na four names in her name. So Tammy, I just took the first and the last. You'll know who you are. Message me your address because I don't have it. But Marsha, I definitely have yours. Um, I have two Marshas who last names are very close. So this is Marsha Welton with a T. <laughs> the other Marsha will know that I'm talking about her too because y'all's names are way close. All right, so congratulations. I picked two people at random who shared the video last week. Um, you know, I have a prize cabinet over here. Should I just grab some random things and let's see what we have for prizes? Um, you know, I haven't even taken my retired stuff out of here yet. Okay, hold please. Oh man, I have so many things to choose from. Retired things, not retired things. Oh, my, oh, you know what? How about, okay, hold on, hold on. I've got something good. Hold on. This is going to cost me a lot to ship, but I love you guys. Right, let me grab it. How about, oh, come on. How about this bundle? I have two of these. Let's do these. Because I know there's somebody out there who doesn't have it. And then, you know what? I'll also give my all-star PDF away with the people who win these next week. Okay, so to enter to win, all you have to do is share on Facebook and then type shared so that I know. Um, and I'll pick two people at random. Okay. All right. Did I miss a question? Why is there no leopard spot by the stamp? Isn't there a leopard spot in the stamp? There is, is that what you're asking? This one right here? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, you can make it a leopard. I can't wait to see what people do with that stamp set because I think, I think it has a lot of possibility. 
I think that the DSP, the paper, I'm not, I think that's what I'm not a fan of, maybe. And maybe that's why some of us, the paper is kind of a weird color. Okay, so share if you want that. Well, sh I would love for you to sh just share the video, but <laughs> especially if you want to win that prize. Okay, so this is Facebook Friday, and usually I pick one stamp set or um, bundle, and we make three projects with it. But this week, um, instead of that, I went with the in colors because I could not just settle on one stamp set. Next week will be more, um, we'll just, I'll pick one for next week. But this week, there's three different stamp sets. And if you want the make and takes from today, I will send them to you for free. They look like this. Here's last week's. They come with a little tag, but you will need the stamp. So I don't do any of the stamping. If you don't have the stamps that I use, you can substitute anything that you have. Um, in its place, um, but your order has to be $35 by Monday at midnight using this host code. And last week I offered the second host code for a free embellishment if you don't want the make and take. So I thought, let's do that again this week. And I will tell you, I'm being a little selfish with that <laughs> because next week I have so much to do. I don't want to cut make and takes for people who don't actually want them. You know what I'm saying? So if you want make and takes, definitely use the host code. But if you're like, no thanks, I really don't want the make and takes, but I'll take the embellishment, then use that host code, all right? I'm being kind of selfish. I'm being kind of like, you know, I don't want to cut all those if unless people really want them. So anyways, two host codes this week. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Okay, we're ready to stamp. This is what we're doing today. If you go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, has anybody checked? Is it up? Did I um, schedule everything correctly? Ashley, that's a great idea. Ashley, that's such a good idea. I didn't even think about that. She says that tiger set, Wildcats, would be cute on a scrapbook page if you went to the zoo. I forget about scrapbooking. Oh, I love scrapbooking. And I have, I just have completely not done it in a very long time. But that's a really good idea. Okay, so pinkbugger.com. Hop over there. Under the last photo, you'll find this PDF. It's free. It's got all the measurements, products that I'm using, as well as the things that I mentioned to you. I don't think I put the, and I meant to put those links at the bottom of today's post about joining and, uh, or buying the starter kit and all that, but I will add that in. And when I'm done here, I'll add links to this video here on Facebook. Okay, let me get a drink. I'm thirsty. Hold on. My mom's dog was here this morning. I was dog sitting and they, my dogs and her dog wrestled all morning and now they're all exhausted. <laughs> I love it. Animal Kingdom too, Mary, you're right. Boy, I've got a lot of pictures from Animal Kingdom. Yes, ma'am, you are absolutely right. Carla, that's such a good idea. Animal Crackers 3D Project. Okay, y'all are convincing me. I think we're gonna have to do a Facebook Friday with Wildcats. I think so. I think you guys are giving me lots of ideas. Stay tuned for that coming this summer. Okay, so today we are gonna do the end colors. If you have not met our new end colors yet, let me introduce you to them. Our end colors are five colors that come out. We get five new colors every year, and those five colors last two years. So every year we have five colors leaving and five new colors coming and five colors continuing, if that makes sense. Um, so these are the brand new colors. They'll be here um, all this year and all the next year. Um, this is Evening Evergreen. This is probably my least favorite of the five. I know that there are some of you out there who love green. Uh, I'm just like, meh. I mean, it'll be good, I think, when we get to Christmas. It's a good, rich green. This is Fresh Freesia. It's beautiful, I really like it. It's more of a pinky purple. Soft Succulent is a great soft green. I really like it. We're gonna use it today with Flirty Flamingo. Um, it also goes with Polished Pink pretty well too, I think. Polished Pink is my most favorite in color this year. Um, it's like a Barbie pink or a bubblegum pink. It's very bright, perfect. It is a perfect pink. And then, um, Pale papaya. I almost called it peekaboo peach because it reminds me of a color we've had before. I think it was peekaboo peach, right? It's very cute. I like this color a whole lot. And uh, 
I don't know. We're going to make a box out of this color today. I was going to show you something else that my team is making. These are our make and takes for this month. I didn't design this. Rhonda designed, my friend Rhonda Way designed this, but it's just so cute. Look, it's one of our little paper pumpkin boxes. And then these are our note cards. And you can make little note cards with each color using that cute penguin. Isn't he adorable? I haven't finished them. I haven't put the sentiments on it yet, but I just had to show you. Look how nicely they fit in that paper pumpkin, the mini paper pumpkin box. All right, well, let's get started, okay? A school mascot, yes, look at you guys. Kathy says, evening evergreen is my jam. You know, again, isn't it funny how our brains just see things differently? Yeah, it's just amazing. Okay. Now, to get started, we are going to make this cute little card. This stamp set is adorable. And of course, a mom of three girls, I immediately loved this stamp set. Um, the sentiments are cute. This is the one we're going to use, and I love it. Hills are easier when you have a friend. And then we make a great team. Always right behind you. Thanks for sharing the ride. Better together. I just think that's so cute and simple. It's a pretty simple stamp set. When you see when I stamp it, I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you first how to make this, what I'm calling a rainbow road. Okay. All right. So let me get my grid paper. You're going to need, let's see, where are my supplies? They are missing. Did I already pick them up? Hello. They're right here. Okay. You're going to need a window sheet. We're going to create a mask. Um, and we're gonna use our blending brushes. I did this, car, this card, this technique, years and years ago. In fact, it was 2015, I presented at convention, and this is one of the things I presented. And for some reason, it popped in my head this week, and I was like, yes, that's what I wanna do this week. So I went back, way back, <laughs> to look at my blog to remember exactly what I had done. So I have cut just a quarter sheet of basic white cardstock, and I'm gonna use my Post-it tape. And I forgot to link the Post-it tape today on today's blog post. But if you click the Amazon tab at the top of my, oops, you know what? I don't want that there. I'm going to leave that off because we're going to make that line go that way. If you click the Amazon tab at the top of my blog, you'll find this post-it tape. It is awesome. It's like the stickiness of a post-it note, except it's tape. So it's just, you know, um, temporary. All right. Now get a window sheet. And if you don't want to use your window sheet, you know, like maybe you're like, ah, oh, I don't want to use that. It's too expensive. Look at your, like your trash, <laughs> you know, like your plastic packaging. Or when you get a stamp set, when you get a photopolymer stamp set, it comes with a sheet like this that you peel off. I always throw that away. I don't keep that. So that would work as well. And I mean, you could use just chipboard, but I like to use our window sheets because they wipe off. So I just have a piece that's a little bit longer than the white piece. And I'm going to take my scissors and you know what? I don't want to use these little ones. I want to use this one right here like this. And I'm just going to go and make like a curvy rainbow. Okay, so just cut it in half so that you have two little rainbow pieces. Now I'm going to start down here. I'm going to put this one down kind of low and I'm going to tape it in place. And then I'm going to do this one and I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to tape it in place right there. Okay, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually tape these together. Ah, I keep trying to cover up that. I'm going to tape these together. That way they'll just, we can just move them all at once. Okay. So now we've got that. We're going to use three different colors. We're going to start with Highland Heather. That's our dark purple. Then Fresh Freesia and Polished Pink. Don't those make a great color combination? I think they do. All right, so Highland Heather, and I'm gonna use my blending brushes. They are back in stock, whoop, whoop. So I'm gonna use my purple one, and I'm just gonna start from one side to the other. Okay. Now, um, this acetate sheet, the ink is gonna sit on top of this sheet, so we're going to move to another purple next, but if you're going to move to a different color, something like a yellow or a green, you know, something that's very different, you want to get 
a towel, which I had here just a minute ago, and wipe it down, which we're gonna do in a second. But I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. All right, so then when you take it off, there's your first part. And now I'm gonna put this one down, right there. Just moving it up, okay? Don't get it on your fingers like I almost just did. And don't cover up the edge of the page down here. Now my page, my piece of cardstock, is bigger than what I need. And I like to do that just to kind of give myself some wiggle room. I can cut it down if like one edge looks weird, I can cut it off. All right, so now fresh freesia. And you'll see these compared, I really think this is much pinker than our other um, purples. I almost, sometimes when I see it, I think it's purple. I mean, I think it's pink. Somebody has used a pink. It's a beautiful color. Okay, now I had, I got this great microfiber cloth. <laughs> Here it is. I'm gonna use that. We talked about these the other day, uh, or a couple weeks ago, and I got a nice little gift in the mail that had um, a pink trash can and a pink microfiber cloth, and I absolutely love it. All right, now let's move it up like that. And today when I made the clean recording of this, I went up a little bit too high and I left like just a little sliver of white there. So make sure that you maybe just go right under the edge of that, that uh, second color or that color that you used before. All right, now for the Barbie pink, my favorite. You could do this card in any color combination you want. Get out your inks and see what colors you like. You could use four colors, you could use two colors, you could do whatever. You could even just make a regular rainbow. All right, isn't that pretty? So, 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 so pretty. All right, now we are done and you can save that mask Whenever I make a mask, I like to keep it and reuse it. So I will take it like this and stick it on the inside of a cabinet and then I just have it saved. All right, make sure I don't have ink on my fingers. Let's pull that up. There we go. Now look, see right here? This is why I make my paper bigger than I need it because I had the tape too far over. But that's okay, we're gonna cut it down. We are gonna cut it, so let me get my trimmer. We're gonna cut it, um, we're gonna put it on a piece of fresh freesia that is four by five and a fourth. So I'm gonna cut it down to three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, so five and an eighth. Just basically an eighth of an inch smaller than whatever your mat is. Let's see, I'm gonna take some off the bottom. You've gotta leave enough room at the top for your girls. So let's take some off the bottom and then some off the top. Cynthia, I'm glad you like it. It's a fun technique. And like I said, I haven't done it in ages. So I don't, it just randomly popped in my head. I was like, we gotta do that. Okay, now we're gonna stamp these girls on this road, this rainbow road. Um, but because we just spent so much time making this road, I don't wanna mess it up. <laughs> and have to do it again. So I'm gonna use my Stamparatus. Um, you know, you with your Stamparatus, you can position it exactly where you want it. Um, the other reason I like doing this, look, a new chamois, isn't it beautiful? I hate to mess it up. It's so pretty. And look, who suggested a mister? I'm, I now have a water mister next to me. I love it. All right, let me clean this, make sure it doesn't have ink from last time. Oh, look. <laughs> Oh, a new chamois, so nice. Okay, now, I'm such a, a dork, but I know you guys understand. Um, I'm gonna place this here. I've gotta make sure that they fit. You know, you don't wanna go too high. The other reason I'm using my Stamparatus is because we have two black inks, Memento and Stays On. And Stays On is really like dark and it, you know, it just is like, I don't know, juicy or something. It just stamps so solid. 
but you can't use Stampin' Blends with it. So we have to use Memento. Memento is a great ink. Also, it's just not as, you know, powerful as it stays on. And we're stamping this over these colors. So I figured I'm probably going to want to stamp it a couple of times to get that really good solid feel. Okay, so there's one. And, you know, that's not too bad. But let's do it again because I want this part just to be totally solid. Saturated, Catherine. That is the answer, yes. Now we've got it. How cute are they? So cute. All right, so you can color your girls whatever color you want, whatever represents you. I'm gonna use some yellow on one of them because you know, I've got three blonde girls. So we've got to make one blonde. And I will tell you that every time I use a yellow Stampin' Right marker. I've got to make sure my ink is super dry. For me, it's the only one that will smear or pick up a little bit of that black. None of the other ones do it, but um, the yellows do. So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, let's start with her shirt. This is gonna be my blondie. And she has a polished pink shirt, our new in color. All of our in colors this year have stamp and write markers, which makes me happy because the last two years, only four of our only four of our in colors had <laughs> stamp and blends. I forgot to stamp their flowers. We've got to give them little flowers in their basket. There we go. Okay, and we'll color one of these like that. There we go. Do you liked it too, Tammy? Hey, there's Tammy. Did you see you won a prize, Tammy? Hopefully you were here at the at the beginning when I gave away prizes. Okay, now I keep wanting to call it Purple Posy, but it is not. It is Fresh Freesia. Okay, we'll give her a Fresh Freesia shirt and a purple flower. And uh, let's do hair. We'll start with our blondie in the back, and we're gonna just give her, I'm using So Saffron, light So Saffron all over. And then I'm gonna take my, whoa, my dark and give her some shadowing on her hair like that. Okay, I don't think I need to do anything else. Now we'll have a brunette in the front. And we're gonna give her crumb cake hair, <laughs> crumb cake colored hair. And she's gonna have some highlights in her hair too. She's so cute. I love the way her hair is blowing in the wind. Really cute. Okay, do, do, do. Now let's add some dark. I guess those would be low lights, huh? Give her some low lights like that and then blend it all together. And it's gonna be the lightest on the top, so make sure you leave your color light at the top. All right, I'm just gonna go with basic uh, petal pink for the face. I like the light petal pink the best for just a regular old skin tone. Use whatever skin tone you want. Um, then, oh, don't forget their hands their arms. Uh, then uh, we've got to add some little cheeks. So I'll take the dark petal pink and I'm also going to add a little bit of shadow underneath their hair where their hair is covering their face. And there we go. Okay. Can you guys see it? So cute. How many times am I going to say so cute? Cause it's just so, so cute. All right. Now I didn't dry this ink with my heat tool. So I'm just going to be real careful. There we go. Alrighty, let's put it together. We're gonna put the sentiment on the inside. I'm gonna put her, them on a fresh freesia mat. And then I've got a Highland Heather card base. Thanks guys. This is a great stamp set. I think it would be quick and easy, you know, because it's just one big stamp quick and easy to make cards with this. 
And the sentiments are just so great. All right, now we have these new flowers and I want you guys to look at my flower container. Can you tell that someone has had it? That would be Pepper. Mm -hmm. She got a hold of this right after I got it in the pre-order. Luckily, she didn't get it open. <laughs> she just chomped on it. Stinker. All right, let's use some glue dots. These uh, little flowers, they're like plastic flowers, I think. They're plastic, resin, I don't know. What are, they, what are they called? They are called loose flower flourishes. Yeah, I think they're just plastic. I'm going to use um, the... Uh, polished pink and the fresh freesia and then I'm gonna get a little one maybe um, and that's pale whoops I got purple that's pale papaya all right so we're just gonna take those and kind of sprinkle them along our rainbow and then I'll put this one that doesn't really match our rainbow but still goes pretty well just kind of over here like that all right now the inside we can't leave the inside we've got to have a sentiment I've got just a basic white cardstock piece, quarter, well, it's four by five and a fourth. And we'll stamp the little dog. Acrylic, maybe? Yeah, Catherine, maybe. And then hills are easier when you have a friend. There we go. And we'll just color our little pupper crumb cake as well. Keep it easy. We've already got it out. You could stamp those little flowers again, too, here. That would be cute. And then I'm just gonna put a little line, shadow line under him, so he's not just floating in air. Like I mentioned a minute ago, there will be clean recordings of all three projects. If you wanna come back and make these, you can watch the individual videos over on my YouTube channel. And they're linked on my blog today as well. I got them done really early this morning before my mom's dog came over. <laughs> <laughs> and before the teenager was up, I was able to get it all done. But I missed my walk this morning. I didn't go for a walk. So I'll have to do that this evening. It's getting toast, getting toasty here. I don't know about you guys where you are. But I know next week it's going to cool off a little bit too. So those of you who've been to Hawaii, tell me. You know, I think Hawaii tank tops and shorts the whole time. But... I was looking at the uh, the weather and it said like 84, like high of 84, 83, 85. And you know, here, that's like, I mean, it's not cold, but it's definitely not hot, hot. So in Maui, yes, I know if I'm gonna go up to Haleakala, I need warm clothes. But what about regular Maui? Those of you that have been. Here's our card, we're done. <laughs> I'm just chit-chatting, so cute. Um, I need to know, like, do I need, does it get cool in the evenings in Hawaii? Allergy meds, Lisa, really? To Hawaii, really? Hmm. Hawaii's been on my bucket list for years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Uh, many years ago, Stampin' Up! had a, a incentive trip to Hawaii, and I missed it. I didn't make it that year, and I was furious. And I was so furious. That was the last time I didn't earn an incentive trip. <laughs> I was not gonna, I was not gonna experience that again. Talk about FOMO. Uh, fear of missing out is not fun. Okay, so thank you. I'm glad you like the card, Carol. Oh, I know you guys are cool up north. I know. Sweater for evenings, Laurie. That's kind of what I was thinking. That's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Okay, next project. All right. Next, we're gonna use another bundle that, I don't know, you might not have noticed in the catalog. It's called All Squared Away. And I was really intrigued by this one. These dies create kind of um, like a negative image, um, like a little window. So that's what we're gonna do. I really found this stamp set interesting. Um, and we're gonna use, let me pull out all my pieces. We're gonna use Soft Succulent which is that new green, and Flirty Flamingo, which is not a new in color, but this paper is that new um, pattern party, designer series paper you can get with your Stampin' Rewards. Christine says, Hawaii is one of three states I have yet to visit. Wow, you only have three states left? Christine, that's amazing. Debbie went 40 years ago, it was beautiful. Wow. 
Um, yes, Kate, I did hear that. That's exciting for you, man. You get to go all the time. Um, I'm say <laughs> so it's the Stampin' Up incentive trip, you guys. But you have to have a COVID test before you go. And like in my like panic, I'm so worried <laughs> that I mean I am fully vaccinated, but you never know, right? You never know. Oh, so please pray that we are not somehow infected <laughs> and test positive before we go. Okay, we're gonna use um, this image right here. Our paper has stripes, so I felt like, I wanted to use that one, but I feel like that would be too much stripes. So we're gonna use the little dots. And we're gonna stamp this in soft succulent on basic white. And um, I'm gonna cut off half of this piece Oh, Judy, what an amazing place to go on your honeymoon. Yes, lucky her. I can't wait. But you know what? You guys know, traveling is stressful. Getting everything ready to go, and oh, it's hard to be completely excited until you actually get there. Okay, we're going to cut out um, this one. We're going to do this little daisy, and we're also going to use this one. We're going to cut it out of flirty flirty flamingo. I'm going to put um, adhesive sheets on the back. That way I don't have to mess with any glue. It's just going to create a sticker. So I've got a basic white piece that I'm going to put right there. And then that flirty flamingo piece I'll put right there. And then take your scissors. Oh, Mary, the second shot kicked your butt, huh? Yeah, I've heard that some people, we did not have any trouble. Um, we were a little bit tired that the um, day after, but not really. My husband thought maybe he might be feeling achy, but then he was fine. Yeah, I know I've heard some people really have had trouble with that. My parents didn't have any symptoms after theirs. And then my 18-year-old, she's also gotten hers, um, and she had zero Um side effects. It's weird, isn't it? How our bodies respond differently. Okay, let's cut these out. Let me bring over, you know what? Yeah, I think we can use a little baby today. Let's use the mini cut and emboss machine. He's been sitting in the corner back over there for a while and I felt like, why, why is he in the corner? I need to pull him out. All right, we're gonna cut out this window right here from Basic White and the second flower from flirty flamingo and let me get it started run it through uh, Kimberly you were very second you were very tired on the second shot yeah I've heard just a variety of reactions I was I was worried we actually got our second one the day before Easter so I thought oh man our Easter is gonna be ruined we're gonna be sick but we weren't which was good okay let's get these out Christine, exactly. Nobody puts baby in the corner. So I was wondering why baby was over there in the corner. All right, there's our flirty flamingo. Let's get this one popped out. There we go. And that's our little frame. It's so cute. Um, if you look in the catalog, they have some really good samples um, for this set. Four squares on a card are always fun. And uh, I really like what they've done with it. I think these would be great for shaker cards, too. You can make a little shaker out of it. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, so I'm going to put this. I'm going to frame that soft succulent um, piece or stamp. Now, this guy, I will tell you that there is a perfect fit for this flower. And you need to keep turning it until you find it. You'll think like, oh, yeah, that's close enough. But no, don't, don't go close enough find the perfect fit because I was thinking well it doesn't exactly match until I turned it that one last time and I realized the flower is not symmetrical and you need to turn 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 until you find the fit okay come on get that adhesive off and there we go okay so now we need to cut this out and I could use my trimmer but I think I'm just going to use my scissors I'm just gonna cut around that frame. I'm using my good scissors and I can feel the sticky, sticking to my scissors. Yikes. I'm gonna have to clean them right away. There we go. Not adorable. 
All right, now let's use some of the ribbon. Each of the end colors has its own ribbon. This ribbon remind, <laughs> reminds me of like an 80s prom dress. I was telling my friend Kay that I like the new end colors. They're soft, but I feel like the ribbon is like a, a 1980s prom dress, which is not soft. It's kind of wild. <laughs> you know, like taffeta, like crazy ruffles and big bangs. I don't know why. It's what it reminds me of. I like it. I do like it. It just was, I don't know, kind of a different feel. But that, that's why I'm just going to put a little bit right there, just to give us a little something-something. Okay, now I have cut a piece of the Soft Succulent Designer Series paper from the... So many words, guys. These titles. The 2021 to 2023 In Colors Designer Series Paper Pack. That's too much. Too much to say. So I one by three. I punched it. Got made a flag. I have also cut out, if I can grab it, a label using our message die. Remember this one? I've been using it like every week now. Um, we're gonna stamp this set, has stamp, you know, one for the outside, one for the inside. And so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, on the label, I'm gonna put good things grow. And I'm just gonna put it kind of over on the left side I don't like that. Let me try again. Normally I would stamp and then cut it, but I was trying to find time-saving ways. Ah, all right, well, we're going with it. Um, that's a skinny label, so I would recommend stamping and then cutting. All right, good things grow like our friendship. Yeah, I think the first one was better. Okay, so now let's get our card together. We have got a soft succulent base, card base, with our party, what is it called? Pattern Party Designer Series paper. And we've got the Flirty Flamingo Stripes. On the back of all of these pieces are black and white prints. That paper, I'm telling you, that is the best paper in the catalog. Okay, now we'll take our little banner and we're gonna put that about right there. And then we'll get our other little label. I'm gonna cut it so that it has a straight edge. And we will use some many dimensionals. Cindy, Cindy, hi Cindy. She says the ribbon is the old celebration white ribbon just in colors. The old celebration white ribbon. Old Why am I not remembering the old celebration white ribbon? I remember the ribbon that we had that was, remember it sold out like that? It was like gone. I can't remember the white celebration ribbon, but I like it. All right, dimensional. I, I'm going to have to remember, Cindy. I can't remember. And we're going to put that. I feel like that's a little bit too high. Hold on. Back up. Go down. There and there. There we go. So cute. Now we gotta put a we gotta put a center in the center of that flower. That is it, Cindy. But was it white? Did it have white in the pack? I was thinking it was like Easter colors. I don't remember. You know, my brain, I don't remember anything. Okay, last but not least, let's put a flower in a center. What am I trying to say? But let's put something in the center of our flower. And these are the Genial gems, is that how you say it? Genial gems. And we're gonna put just that little green one right there in the center. There you go. And I did think about maybe adding a few more down here, but I thought, no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave it. How fun is that? Think of all the different possibilities. Uh-oh, look at that one. We need to put another glue dot there. Think of all the possibilities with the colors and I, I wanna make a shaker card with these little frames. Okay, let's tuck this in. So what do you guys want me to do next week? What stamp set? I wanna do the hats off, that's my very favorite. But I'm waiting for something from Little Debbie <laughs> that hasn't come out yet. I'm waiting, I almost even called Little Debbie hotline this week. They have a baseball cupcake 
And you know we gotta use this Little Debbie Baseball Cupcake for the hats offset. And so I'm not gonna use it until we have a Little Debbie Baseball Cupcake. It's May, you would think that it would already be out. <sighs> I don't know, I think it's a summer, a summer cupcake. But still, it's May, right? I mean, close enough. All right, one more pre project. Plants, Karen's gonna be my class to go next month. So I'm not gonna do that for Facebook Friday. Pam, you like the hats off, hats off. Everybody's saying hats off. Um, thanks, Lori. Peachy, Pam, that's gonna be my class. I, I can't double up, because then I'll run out of ideas. The Puffins, Debbie, I did consider the Puffins. They are so, so cute. Um, peaches, um, you think this bundle needs its own Facebook Friday, Catherine? You know, that's the problem when I was trying to decide on things like, ah, you know, if I come up with an idea today, will I be able to come up with three or four more for Facebook Friday? I'm always kind of on the fence with that. And I, I thought the same thing while I was playing with this. Maybe it'll make a return for Facebook Friday, maybe. The bundle with a spinner wheel and window. <gasps> Mary, I like that idea. I have that one. I did get that. Everybody likes the peaches. Man, that peach suite is gonna sell out. It's gonna be on back order. And I'm not gonna be able to do my class next month with it. I bet you, because it's an awesome suite. All right, we've got a 3D project today for you. No little Debbie snacks today. We have Walmart snacks. Let me get it for you. These, I we've done things with these before. You know, over in the bakery, they have their own like Walmart bakery items that are packaged. So they're little Rice Krispie treats. Um, yeah, they're cheap over in over in the, the bakery section. You guys have these at your Walmart, right? I know it's not just my Walmart. They have fun things like little um, blueberry muffins. They have little honey buns. We've used those things before. So anyway, that's what I designed this box for, specifically for this Rice Krispie treat. I knew I was gonna make this project before my products even arrived. I already like, had it in my head. This was the one thing that I had. Um, we're gonna use Peekaboo Peach for the box. I'm gonna show you a new embossing folder. The stamp set is called Biggest Wish. If you like words, this is a good one. Um, you've got the bold font with the scripty, you know, you can combine them. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, let me get another drink. Man, I'm thirsty. Oh, it's already three o'clock. Okay, I gotta hurry. No Diet Coke today, guys. Lemonade only. Trying. <laughs> Trying not to drink Diet Coke all day. Okay, we're gonna start with, let's find my Simply Scored. Peek, oh, I almost called it Peekaboo Peach again. It's not Peekaboo Peach, it's Pale Papaya. It's very close, very, very close. Okay, the measurements for this are on today's PDF right here, okay? You guys have those? Good, Karen, I'm glad you told me. <laughs> I almost said it, Debbie, peekaboo peach. Um, PDF on my blog, under the last photo, here are the measurements, okay? Five and a half by eight and a half. Let's do the short side first at one and four and a half. Then turn it on the long side and do three, four, seven, and eight. All right, then grab your bone folder and burnish all those lines. Did I say peekaboo peek? <laughs> I know, I know. It was, it's the misty moonlight of this year. What did I call misty moonlight? Um, forever, I was calling it the old color. What was I calling it? Like now I can't even remember the old color's name. Okay, all the lines, yep, we've broken them all down. Okay, now where are my small scissors? They're probably on the other tray. The third project, I spend most of the time saying, where is such and such? All right, so we've got a skinny tab here on the end. We're gonna cut off those rectangles, those rectangle tabs, and when you do that, cut this one at an angle, okay? Like that. There we go. Now, cut these lines right here. And then in the middle, this tab right here, cut those corners off of that tab like that. Well, if I can grab them, okay. I'll do the same thing on the other side. 
cut off the corners. There we go. And then this one, we're just gonna cut. Now, here's what your piece looks like so far. These two, um, these are the things that tucked down in the box. We need to make these match this one. So for these squares, cut them in half and then cut the corners off. Okay, so cut it in half, cut the corners off. There we go. All right, so there you go. There's your piece. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna use um, Tombow. And I'm gonna put Tombow, let's see, where do I wanna start? Let's do it right here. And we'll fold this side up into those tabs, those middle tabs. Make sure it's nice and square. Squeeze it for a minute, get that glue to stick. And then I'm gonna put some Tombow here. And these tabs are gonna wrap around the back and hug those sides like that. Okay, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's put our Rice Krispie Treat in. Perfect fit and then tuck these in and the box will close like that. All right. I pushed it in too far. There we go. Easy peasy. Now we have a piece of that designer series paper again. Pattern party, right? Pattern party. I don't know why I can't remember these names. This is three and a, three and three eighths by two and seven eighths this piece. All right. Now let's make that little, oh, you know what? Let's do the star. We've got these new embossing folders called, did I call them the right thing in my first video? Checks and dots, yeah, checks and dots embossing folders. And notice how they're skinny. Um, they're designed specifically for your mini cut and emboss machine. Now they'll fit in your bigger machines as well, but if you only have the cut and emboss machine, it works um, perfectly in here. For this embossing folder, you need these plates, one and three. I actually forgot I had plate three earlier today when I was trying to use it. I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing something here because I have not, I guess I haven't been embossing very much with this, but you'll need, and it tells you right here on the plates. It says to put one on the bottom, then it says to take your embossing folder, put the um, hinge side in, put plate number three on there, and then run it through. Man, my shoulder hurts. I've cut so much paper this week. Look at that. I love polka dot stripes and checks. Man, they're my favorite. You know what, I need to bring that back over. And it's so light and easy to pick up, I love it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna use a star to cut that out. So now we're gonna go back to plate one clear plate, paper, poppy parade, embossed piece, and our star, stitched star. I think we're gonna use, is it this one that I used? Yep. Yeah. All right, put that there. Now we're gonna run that through. Midnight Muse, that's what I used to call it. Midnight Muse, yep, that's it. Midnight Muse. Moonlight Mist. You know, you gotta, you, they gotta come up with names that aren't so similar for colors that are similar. Because people like me can't keep them straight. All right, now we have a whole piece left. We could save that for another project. Put that in your scrap bin. Okay, now let's do our stamping. I have cut out a basic white um, scalloped label. Uh oh, Amazon is here. Hopefully the dogs are all asleep. And this is cut out with the um, scallop contour dies. And then we're gonna stamp, I need my grid paper. Here it is. We're gonna stamp off. We're gonna stamp that first word, happy, and we're gonna stamp it off so that it's lighter. I put a foam mat down because this is a photopolymer. We've talked about this before. Those thick, almost solid photopolymer stamps 
Um, sometimes you need a cushion underneath certain tables. So I just keep one handy. And this one did that to me. I needed the, the foam mat. Another thing I found with this stamp is that if I push it in the ink too hard, I get ink between the letters. So be careful when you ink it and then stamp off. And you know what? I have ink already between the, um, the letters. So let's do it again. Let me clean it. I'm gonna get, I think that was from last time. Okay. All right, let's try it again. Just lightly tap. You don't need to, you don't need to pound it. Stamp and stamp. Okay, so see how it's really light? That's so that your other word will show up. Poppy Parade is what we're gonna use. And I'm gonna put birthday right in the middle. I think that these little treat boxes would be fun to keep at work. And so when you get to work one day and they say so-and-so's birthday today and you had no idea, that you could just pull one of these out of your desk drawer and give it to so-and-so and like you remembered their birthday. <laughs> and you'll look like, hey, you're so thoughtful. All right, so I stamped the little, the little X's in, I almost said it again, pale papaya. It's not peak of the peach, pale papaya. And we're gonna layer all of these up and then we are done. Thanks for sharing, Jean, I appreciate that. All right, I'm gonna put the star kind of off. And then I'm gonna put a dimensional on the right side and put a little bit of adhesive on the left side so that they are both of the same height. All right, so dimensional and then just adhesive because there's a dimensional underneath that star. I feel like that star needs to come up a little bit. Well, that feels like a little too much. There we go. Okay, now, one last thing, the ribbon. This is Flirty Flamingo in gold ribbon. This is another one of those things the catalog does not do justice. It's really pretty in person. And I will tell you that when I put it with Flirty Flamingo, it matches, right? But it just isn't what I think of Flirty Flamingo, but I think it goes really well with Pale Papaya. It's kind of an optical illusion with that gold in it. Um, glue dots are somewhere, probably over here. I can't believe the dogs have slept this whole time. Hallelujah. All right, one little bow there. And ta-da, an easy little birthday treat. These will be fun to send to school when it's your child's teacher's birthday. You could, if your child has a friend who has a birthday and they wanna take them something, and my kids always do that to me. So-and-so's birthday is tomorrow and it's like 9.30 at night. I wanted to get them some candy. <laughs> Look what I have in my drawer. I have something for so-and-so ready to go to school. All right, what do you guys think? Are you excited about these new products? I know I was just almost, like I couldn't even move. I was like, where do I start? There's so many cute things. So many. Okay, so remember, here's today's make and takes. I used more than one stamp set this time. Um, the, if you want the make and takes, they will not come with stamped images. You have to stamp your own images, but it will come with things like the star will be die cut. There will be ribbon in there. You will have the embellishments. Um, so you could always substitute um, or order the stamp sets if you want them. Uh, the way to get the make and takes for free is to put in a minimum $35 order by Monday at midnight using the host code that starts with P. Now, if you're like, Erica, I really don't want those make and takes, um, but I would like something, <laughs> then use this host code and I will send you an embellishment. Now you can't double dip and you can't get both, but you can choose which one you want, okay? And I'm not gonna do that every week, I'm just doing that um, this week to simplify things for myself next week a little bit, okay? All right, you guys, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We have prom this weekend. We're very excited. Prom, it's, uh, they're calling it mini prom because it's not put on by the school. It's put on by a local photographer event center. 
um, because the school was like, no, COVID. And luckily, we have a prom to go to. And she's very, very excited. So I will share a picture with you guys um, so you can see her in her little Cinderella dress um, this weekend. But happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. I hope you get some rest. I hope you get to relax. And I will see you next week, next Friday. I'll be here at 2 o'clock. Bye, guys.